Hey guys, I'm Mel, and today I'm going to do 5 mini reviews of feminist books. I'm doing this because mainly yesterday was International Women's Day. I wanted to celebrate it in my channel as well. So, during my entire life, when I didn't understand something, I turned to books. I think feminism is about raising our voices and coming together to ask for our rights that are so normal for men. I believe these books will give you a better understanding of what women fought and fought and fought for years and are still fighting right now. At least that's what they did for me. I've talked about these books before, but I wanted to focus on women's rights uh, in these reviews specifically. So the first book I want to talk about is I Am Malala by Malala Yousafzai. I'm sure at least you've heard about her. Malala refused to be silent and fought and is fighting for her right to an education, only to be shot in the head by a Taliban who wanted to shut her up. This book is about her story. In it, you can see the struggle of not only girls, but Palestinian and Muslims that are fighting for their basic human rights. I think this book is so inspiring and important because we should all know what's happening in the world and we have to remember that feminism is intersectional. Not all women are fighting for the same thing. This book reminded me of the things that I take for granted every day and the things that I still need to fight for. A Mad Wicked Folly by Sharon Bix Waller takes place in the beginning of the 20th century in London where girls are trained to be wives and mothers. But Victoria wants more. Victoria wants to be an artist. After she poses nude for her art class, her parents try to marry her off, but she secretly applies for the Royal College of Art, starts to participate in the suffragette movement, and starts liking this boy who is from the working class. This book is one of my favorites. It's because it teaches you about the suffragette movement and the fight for women's right to vote, while immersing you in a wonderful story. In this book, you have people who fight against the norm, and most importantly, women who fight against the norm. This is the perfect mixture between history and a wonderful story. We get to see a girl who is part of a movement that started feminism and one of the first groups of women who started to fight for their right. And now we have the right to vote and it's something that we take for granted but there are so many women that fought for it and we have to appreciate it and remember it always. Even though the main character of this book might seem a little bit childish, you have to remember that she's 17 years old and she's fighting for this group and against her parents' wishes and I think that's incredibly brave. The third book I want to talk about is Selfish, Shallow and Self-Absorbed. These are 16 essays of different authors that decided not to have kids. I think this is a very controversial topic because society still thinks that the main goal for women is to procreate, that this is a requirement for a fulfilling and happy life. The idea that some women prefer not to have children is still met with a lot of criticism and skepticism. This book was a very instructive journey. I loved reading about different people's ideas because their reasons were so diverse. Some never wanted children and some tried for children but realized that they were doing it for the wrong reasons. It's definitely very eye-opening. Then we have a classic, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. This is about Esther, who is a brilliant writer, but she's slowly falling into depression after a series of breakdowns. This is honestly one of the darkest books I've read. It was like walking into the mind of an insane person, and it was so beautifully written. You can get confused about it sometimes, but you can't deny all the intense and heartbreaking emotions. It's full of bleak and dark truths about women, and difficult topics that are not much talked about, told with a very dark humor. The final book is How to be a Woman. So Katie Moran is one of my favorite people to hear talk. In this book, she talks about all the reality of women, from waxing to the pill, to abortions and babies and her rights, and she does it wonderfully. This is definitely a rant, and some chapters are better than others, but overall it's very smart and hilarious. I must admit, I don't agree with everything that she says, but she definitely has a strong and important point of view, and it's important to hear it. So yeah, those were all the books I wanted to talk about today. Hope it makes you think of picking up at least one of them. Tell me in the comments some feminist books that you think I should read. And happy Women's Day! Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you like this. If you did, subscribe and I will see you when I see you. Bye!